Hey everyone, this is Just Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So today we will see which devices and services are working with a signal after the new Apple patch. If you don't know about the new Apple patch, just watch this video. In that, I have exactly show you what is this new Apple patch and how it is affecting the new iCloud bypass services with a signal from iPhone 6s to iPhone X and other important information. Links in the description. So. After the new Apple patch, only the iOS 12 services is available for iPhone 5s, iPhone 6 and 6 plus with a signal. So we will see that how we can bypass it with a SIM. So for this, we will use the first tool that is working that is the iRemove tools. And also just for my viewers, if you want some extra discount instantly on the iRemove tools, just apply the discount promo code that is just a tech on their payment page and you will get the instant discount you can download this tool from their official website this tool is available for both Windows and Mac so you can easily download it on your preferred platform at this moment this tool is only working from iPhone 5s iPhone 6 iPhone 6 plus and iPhone XS iPhone XR to the 15 Pro Max but iPhone 6s to iPhone X are currently not available if you want to see the new a12 plus services from the iRemote tools you can watch this video Video that will help you out after you download the tool you can simply install it on your system I have already installed this tool so I will just uh, rewrite this process Now after the download you can simply connect your device. For this video I have this iPhone 6 that is running on the latest iOS 12.5.7 for this device. First time if you connect the device it will check the compatibility and show you your device is supported or not. I've already registered the device that's why it's showing the start but in your case first it will check the compatibility. After it shows supported it will open the payment page. On that you can just fill out your details and just apply the promo code that is just a tech for the instant discount after that you can register it instantly once the registration is done you can simply use the tool most of the people are already aware of the tool and the registration process if you want to see in the detail you can check out my older videos for this i will just move further after that click on start now first you have to jailbreak your device. The jailbreak is inbuilt in the tool so it will enter your device in the recovery mode and after that DFU mode and continue further. So the process is same. So now let's just wait for the jailbreak. So now you can see the jailbreak is done. Now click on OK and wait for your device to completely boot up. Now after that just simply click on start and wait for the bypass to get complete. It will not take too much time. So now you can see it's done you will get the success message and your device will take care respring after that you can disconnect the cable it's done you will directly go to the home screen or the setup screen so now you can see the bypass is done everything looks good we have successfully bypassed the ios 12 iphone 6 with the iremove tools 
let me just show you the settings there is no apple id found in the settings and also there is a check screen so if you want to jailbreak further and install cdia you can do that so now all the things are good let me just insert the sim card and show you the sim card is working good after the apple patch now after that you can just reboot the device so that your network carrier settings take effect so that will be more better if you see no service just reboot the device and everything will cut so let me just wait for some seconds or i will just reboot the device So now you can see signals and network operator name on the top signal is working let just place a call and show you the calling is also working good so now you can see that the calling is working good and sim card is also working so that's really good thing that after the apple patch the method there are some devices that are still working good with a signal bypass and also other i services will work like facetime icloud siri and app store so now you can just try it i will not show all the things in the detail in this video if you want to see all the things are working in detail you can just refer my older videos of the i remote tool so that's all for today's video session i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out